so today I'm working on installing my Mr. Cool 12,000 BTU mini split air conditioner. And I'm going to run off of my solar power. This is the inside unit. This goes up on the wall. Just take a peek up under here. We got the bracket and the line set tucked up inside there. So basically we're going to pull this bracket off and pull out that line set and then we're going to use a template to uh, mount this thing on the wall, drill some holes and get this thing going. And then we'll take a look at the outside unit. Let's get started. All right, so this is where it's going to go up on the wall here. And they give you this template, which is real nice. So basically just put this up on the wall. And the main thing is you don't want to hit a stud when you drill this through to the outside. And you do want to hit some studs when you mount the bracket. So we're going to find the studs, adjust this you know, left or right accordingly, and get this thing mounted on the wall. All right, so I'm going to start by just cutting out the circle. That'll make it easier to draw on the wall. All right, there we go. So, the back of this now, we're going to peel this line set out and gently bend it up. Like so. There's the drain that goes on the bottom. And then we've got these guys and the power cord. So I'm going to wrap this up. So, so far we got the template up here and leveled it out and we got our bracket and I don't like the screws this comes with, they're too small. So we went ahead and put three inch deck screws right into the studs. This is 16 inches apart right there. You wouldn't have to do that, but I think that makes it stronger. And then we're going to go ahead and use some of the screws they gave us to just put a few more in here. So after that, we've got the hole drilled. And I'm going to use this long drill bit here to poke through the, in this case it's OSB, and then to the uh, hardy plank on the outside. But we're see we're going to get at an angle here so that the condensate coming out is going to run downhill. So we don't want to go straight across, we want to get at an angle. All right, so let's so do now that. Now we're on the outside and we're going to go ahead and drill through with a whole saw. So we got through the wall, we got a slight drop, we're just over the fire blocking here. About a half inch drop from the inside to the outside. That's it for the inside. We are all done, wrapped up in here. So let's go outside and see what's next. All right, so you can see the line set coming out through the hole on the other side. And you got the power line. So next up, I'm gonna pour a concrete pad down here for the base unit. And then for power, uh, we used to have a Whirlpool tub on the other side of this little access panel. So I've got a 20 amp dedicated circuit and I'm going to pull through there, put a quick disconnect on the wall, mount it there, then drop down with some very uh, direct berry wire and conduit, dig this through, try and avoid a million things, get the power over here and hook that up. And we'll put the line set on there with the cover, get that all hooked up and then we'll be ready to test it out. So. I think I'm going to save all that for tomorrow.
Okay, so I got everything connected. I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up for an initial test before I put all the covers back on. But I think we're ready to go. Let's see here. Let's come over here. Flip this blade over. All right, then I got to go turn the power on tub was on this GFI breaker here so I got to take this out replace it with a regular 20 amp breaker and then I'm going to wire it into my transfer switch so I'm going to take something off uh, this J circuit's going to go back on the utility and I'll put the air conditioner on the transfer switch so I can run it on the solar So I've got this all wired up. It should be able to run on the utility or the solar. So let's go turn the unit on and see if it works. All right, guys, I got the remote and we're going to turn the power on. All 
Oh, well, that's just great. What the heck? No power. No power. Okay, got no power out to my box. What the heck? Aha! What do hot tubs have, guys? They got switches. We gotta take that switch out. try this again. We are on solar power and here we go. Boom. Well it beeped. There we go. 70. Well it's blowing. You can't even hear it. It's very quiet. So I can turn the fan up a little. That's high. Let's see if the outside unit came on. So the outside unit is running. Sounds really quiet. That's good. Let's see here. So I'm going to paint the house white pretty soon. That'll help make this all blend in, but not too bad. See how much power it uses. I've got it switched to solar, so we're going to be run off of solar power. I turned everything off on this channel. Everything in the house is off except for this uh, unit. The power's on and it's pulling three watts. So now I'm just going to switch the unit on. Okay, and I've got it set to 80 degrees, so it's not doing much. Now I'm going to crank it down to 70. Alright, so we're on 70 and it looks like the compressor's kicking in. Not much though, 170, well it's going up, 200. Huh, seems to be moving through a cycle. Let me leave it at 70 for a minute. Let's let it get up to... It's funny how it ramps up slowly. That's interesting. It's definitely soft start. It's not hitting the solar with a hard startup current. Look at that, ramped up very slowly. Getting up to about 650. Okay, so it's worked its way up to about 850 watts, but no surges, very smooth. I like that a lot for my solar and my inverters are going to like it too. Very nice. Okay, so overall I'd say it was a fairly easy install. Probably took me about 10 hours if you include the concrete pad and trips to lows, stuff like that. I really like the soft start aspect. It's going to be great for running on solar power. So looking forward to that. Uh, wait, maybe after a year of use, I'll come back and do an update on the performance. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.